Hello everyone, this is Hair Tutorials with my hairstyle EXO. Before starting, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe my channel and click the thumbs up for this video. Thank you and welcome to the my channel, I hope you will like what you see. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this diagonal wave braid with flowers. This style includes lots of steps but you only need to hold one to three strands at a time. Then I take a pretty big section of hair and put it away to wait. Then I braid below that section a lace braid. So you need three hair sections and add hair always from the right side of the braid. Bring the sections ultimately under the middle one. So bring the right strand under to the middle and add some hair, then left strand under to the middle, right strand under, add some hair, then left strand under, right under, add hair, left under, right under, add hair and keep on repeating this pattern until the braid is on the desired length Next, I show to you how I add this kind of hair sections into the braid. I will use these later to the flowers. Separate the hair section you need under the lace braid. Then take a clip of wire, put it through the braid. Insert the hair section to the loop. And then just pull it through the braid. like this and you can create these kind of sections of hair for the flowers as many you like. I start to create a wave braid. First I pull all these hair sections under to the braid. To create more tighter slits I suggest you to put the wire through the braid. It doesn't need more than few hair to hold this hair strand better. Then I pull the second hair strand through the braid. Make sure that there are three stitches of the braid between these hair sections. So you put the second hair section to the fourth space from the previous hair strand. Then make sure again there's a three hair sections between and then insert the third hair section through the braid. Add a hair section in every fourth space of the lace braid. Now the braid looks like this. Next, I take the first hair section and split it in three equal sections. Take the first hair section, pull it through the first space of the braid. Thank you. 
Then pull the wire through the second space. Take the second hair strand and pull it through the braid. Pull the clip of wire again through the braid, this time on the third space, and pull the hair strand through the braid. Next, I take all three hair strands and pull them on the fourth space of the lace braid. And now these three hair strands become a one with the second piece of hair. Shape the waves as you like and then we are created the first wave. Make sure that you won't braid these strands for the flower braids into the wave braid. I move them a little bit during the video so it's easier to braid for me. But back to the wave braid. Now we repeat the same pattern we did previous. So take the first hair strand, put the wire through the first page of the braid and pull the hair strand through the braid. Then do the same to the second and the third hair strand as well. And then I take all these three hair strands and pull them through the same loop with the new hair strand. Then shape your wave as you like. Keep on repeating the same pattern until you're braided like this the whole braid. Next, I showed you how to create flowers like this. Take the one of the hair sections, separate it in three equal pieces. Then start to braid by bringing hair alternately from side to the middle. 
you can bring the strands over or under the middle one, it doesn't matter on this time. Pancake the another side of the braid by pulling the stitches gently out of the braid. My technique is closer to roll my thumb and forefinger against of each other. Keep on braiding like this as long as you can. Next, I spin the flower. I start from the end of the hair and create a tiny circle. Then I start to spin the braid around that circle. After a few rounds, I put the puppy pin through the flower. When I keep on spinning the braid around the first circle, I insert the braid through the puppy pin. Then I remove the puppy pin to put it again and this time I secure it to the braid. Make sure that the pancake inside is upwards. Then I add some flowers to the middle of the flower. Then just braid all your sections you leave to the flowers like this. And here's the final look of this style. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.